Hello everybody, good morning, Review Circles here, and today I want to show you another one of my World War One US gas masks. I picked this gas mask up about a week ago online and decided to add it to my collection due to it being a fairly nice price. And while this gas mask may not be in the best shape as my other one, it was only like $50 to $60, which is why I picked it up. The mask itself, just like most of these World War One US gas masks when you find them, is completely solidified and kind of just stuck in this shape, along with the hose being stuck in about the same shape of it being in the bag for so long. The straps of the mask have been completely eaten away by time or someone not storing it properly, along with the inside of the mask being very brittle, and you can't really open it fully, but you can open it enough to see the inside of it. You can also see around here where time or moths have eaten away at the inside of the mask. As you can see, the mask filter itself does still have most of its original paint, along with the original card still tied onto the filter itself. The back of the filter also still has most of its original paint, unlike my other World War I US gas mask, which is missing most of the paint on the filter, and the filter on that one is also very rusted. The instruction booklet of this gas mask is about the same, although this one is missing the repair tape on the inside, as you can see now. Like my other gas mask, it is missing the rubber XL valve that would have been right there, although most of them are when you find them. The gas mask bag is in overall good shape, except for a little bit of discoloration due to the age. It also still has the original string here, which my other one does not have. The back of the gas mask bag does have a small hole right there, although the rest of it's in pretty good shape, despite the discoloration as I mentioned before. And while this gas mask may not be in the best shape as my other one, it is still a great example of history, as most original World War I stuff is getting harder and harder to find as the years go on. It's been roughly 104 years since World War I has ended, making World War I gear and uniforms a lot harder to find. So if you ever find some original World War I stuff, and it's not that expensive and it's in pretty good shape like this item right here, I do recommend picking it up. But with all that said, I'll see you in the next one, and happy collecting!